can come. Okay. Because a lot of majorette dancers don't have the professional training that you have. So I want you to really sell the crowd and the judges on that because that's okay. going to be your strong point. My solo dance has elements that no other captain can bring to the competition. I'm bringing not only majorette, but I'm bringing lyrical and hip hop. So I'm going to give the crowd a little extra. Keep in mind, the doll's captain, she's over there working it out right now. We're working just While we talk. sitting here talking, we're working just she's talk. working it out. So when you do it this time, I need energy, I need bucket, I need precision. All right. I don't think that she's intimidated by the doll's captain because by nature, she's a very confident dancer. Five, six, seven, eight. I feel like that I need to bring a certain grace to the floor, and I will bring it. Think every move, because this is gonna be the crowd please, okay? And remember to own it. This is you, this is what you do. All right, let's try that again. Wait a minute, do it again. This right here gonna shut it all the way up. Make it look like you are like the queen of Sheba. This week, the dancing dolls are competing in Atlanta, Georgia at the Dance or Book Off competition. Five, six, seven, and eight. Karen is very versatile. She has a lot of great technique. There's nothing that this kid can't do. So Cameron's gonna have a solo this week, and hopefully we can get the solo together in enough time to get her out there on the floor and ready to compete. Cameron, step out. You're supposed to be out in the front. Here, when you step back, whip, you can roll. Step, step, you gotta get out there. This is about you, so you need to make sure you do it correctly. There's so much Cameron has going on in the routine. It scares me a little bit because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to clean it all up and to make sure that she can get through it. You don't get this right, we're not using it. So help me. Start from the beginning. It makes me feel very angry because, you know, this is something I know how to do and this is a lot of pressure because, you know, with me being the only one out there, I have to get it right. You need to get comfortable. It should be like, I'm unbothered, spinning, gone with the damn wind, fabulous. Right now you look bothered. You look scared. PD think they finna go in there and whoop y'all ass. Hell, this is personal. I'm gonna push Cameron as much as I possibly can because we're going into uncharted territory. Losing is not an option. Guarantee they gonna be eyeballing your ass from across the damn floor. Standing, standing over there looking. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That ain't even right, see? She ain't even do that right. Toes ain't pointing, she ain't even spot. Tearing you down from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Look at them heifers like you unbothered. The weight of the entire team rides on this person's shoulders. And Cameron's act is nowhere near together. I need Cameron to wipe her face, stop crying, and bring it. I know you ain't crying. I tend to get frustrated really easy. And you know, when I get frustrated sometimes, like my.